Aloha guys, Scuba Chris here. You know, I just got this beauty in the mail the other day. This is my fourth um, order from Temu. And this here, they, they're calling this the DK spinning reel. But I did some research. It, it's called it, they're calling it DK, but it's produced by Haut Tan, H-A-U-T-T-O-N, which I guess is pronounced Haut Tan. It comes in seven sizes. Ranging from the 700, I'm sorry, the 800 size to um, the 12,000 size. Now, this one here um, it has a max rating of 35 pounds. It's pretty good. So, I have a little dilemma here. If I go braid, I could put a massive amount of line inch on this. But I want to, um, because of the size, I want to go um, use mono. But this 7,000 is more like uh, maybe a 5,500 or barely a 6,000 in US sizes. And, and when I compare it to my other reels, it's not bigger than that, but it's still a decent size reel. So what was the price of this? Um, imagine buying a nice plate lunch in town with a drink. That's how much it costs. It, it, it didn't, it was hardly anything. And the shipping was free because it, you know, that's that's the way they do business, right? Um, Temu gives you free shipping. So because I'm deciding to go mono, if I was to go 10 pound on this, that would be 350 yards. If I went 15 pounds, that would be 270 yards. Uh, but I'm gonna go 20 pounds, you know, which is a little bit thicker. And 20 pounds is just a hair over 200. It's gonna be 210 yards. But you know how these companies, if they say 210 yards, you're going to look at realistically maybe 180 or 190 yards. Now, what's good about mono is stretches. So if you're in a reefy area, it will um, take some some scratches, but it won't break the line if you get minor scratches or buffs on the line. Now, if it was braid, that's the area where it could snap. So let's take a look at inside, shall we? It tells you on the box here, you got to check off here for the 7,000 size. And on the cover, I, I know it's a lot of these uh, Chinese style reels, they, they have the um, parts list on the cover. And nothing really wrong with that. Well, this is actually not a bad looking reel. It has some weight to it. Oh! Check this out. There is also a parts list in here. And it's not cheapy paper. This is actually very hard, tough, um, waterproof type of paper. This is good. So the reason why I got this particular model is because some of the models um, for these um, type of, the DK, they call it DK, but it's actually produced by Houghton. Now, um, the other ones just have very basic skinny type of handles. This one here has that Gomexa style knob, you know, the, the metallic knob. I like I like these better. It's a better grip when your hands are wet. Okay, so I'm just going to tighten up here. Okay. okay it feels good. Um, just like the Okuma type of spinning wheels, this has a, very unusual, this has a very thick bail arm. Now, not too many companies will go this thick. Okuma's the only one out there I found. Actually, this is pretty good. Look at that. That's actually very thick. So that's a big plus in my book right there. It's a thick bail arm because, you know, a lot of times you may put this on the cooler, falls, hits the ground, and the weight of the unit will actually cause this to bend or to bend at the joints. So to have a tick is very, very good. Anti-reverse. I don't know why we um, we still keep that around today. In the old days, they did this for uh, um, live lining or hand feeding up bait. But we don't need this feature anymore. I prefer it that way. You know, currently, the only other person in the state of Hawaii that has this reel is a friend of mine. Um, we're both on Facebook and a couple of other fishing groups. Okay. 
Let's see. And she got hers about a week before I got mine. Now this is unusual. It's loose here. I mean, the stack, see the, the washer stack? You can hear it, it's loose. Now, I don't know if there's good or bad, but the wire over here, it's where it should be, so it's keeping it in. I don't know why it's loose like that. Um, it's not gonna make a big difference if it's loose, loose or not, but unusual. This is very thin here. But you know, it's, you know, don't expect much because of what I paid for this. You know, it's, it is what it is, right? Hmm. So my friend that was um, saying before that had this, her, her name is uh, Lynn, and she gave me permission to use her name on this. Her, her last name is Makabe. She's, uh, I would say that she's a very, very accomplished female angler. Um, just the other week, she went um, surf casting using this model. She got the very same model I have here. She had hers about a week longer than I had mine because mine just came in. And I asked permission for her to use a picture of what she just caught as soon as she used it. And she sent me a beautiful picture of some local bonefish and jacks. So she told me um, it's okay. She gave me permission to post this. So um, I'm going to put this on now so you can take a look at it. And as you can see from the picture, these are decent sized legal fish. And she caught all of that using this reel. To me, that this is pretty good. It's not because she's a female angler. She is a top-notch angler, and she she could probably run circles around me easy. She knows how to cast. She elected to go uh, mono, and she, her her concerns echo mine that I may not put enough mono here to make it worthwhile. But you know, I don't want to go less than twenty because I'm gonna I'm gonna suffer some strength loss. Um, right now, I don't want to go braid because I have quite a few uh, reels with braid already. Braid will give me more yardage, but I, it won't give me the opportunity to fish some more of the reefier areas. So I'm going to go with 20 pound um, mono first. And to me, just by looking at it, this is more uh, this is more of a like a five fifty five hundred six thousand size reel, not a seven thousand. But you know, we'll see. You can see here it says seven thousand on it, right? But we'll see. We don't, we're not sure how this is going to work out. Okay, it seems I do have some clear line choices here. I can go thirty pound mono, which I think is going to be too thick. Twenty five mono is very, very tempting because um, I'm not going to get as much yardage as the twenty here, but it'll be a little bit thicker line. So I'm, I'm kind of debating between the two, or I can go fifteen. The fifteen though is floral. There's no stretch in floral, so I don't think I'm going to do that one. So it's either going to be 20 or 25. I think in this case, I might, I'm might. i just going to go to 20 because, um, you know, I'm going to have enough um, area on the, on the spool to accommodate the 20. Maybe, maybe 190 yards. We'll see. Now, there's a very thin abrasion area in the middle, but it's very, very thin. So I'm going to just end up putting some electrical tape over it. I'm sorry, this is one of the few times I kind of changed my mind in mid-process. I I looked at the, the thickness or the thinness of the 20. Ah, uh, this is 0 0.45, and I am looked at the 0 0.5, which is uh, point z 0 0.05 thicker in diameter. I'm going to go with the 25 because even though I'm going to get slightly less yardage, it's just a peace of mind. I'm going to go with the 25 instead. Okay, I'd like to thank, big, big thank you to Brandon Rogers of Sportsman Innovations. He's the one that gave me um, the, the line spooler to use uh, for all my projects. And I, I'd like to really thank you for that because, you know, now I can do all my projects here at home. Um, thank you so much, Brandon.
Whew, that, look how much line that took off of that fresh spool. I mean, this is a decent sized spool here. 1100 yard spool. I know this was going to take a tremendous amount of line, but wow, that's a lot of line. But that's good because if the fish decides to run, that's good. But look at this. Look at that. Within not quite um, a sixteenth of an inch, a little bit more than that on both sides. But pretty darn good. Now, isn't that line lay beautiful? It's compacted tight. I got just roughly around 16th of an inch or so on the top and the bottom. And as you saw, that's pretty much an even line lay. I've been doing this for years. And Brandon Rogers was the one who gifted me the line spooler from his company, Sportsman Innovations. Thank you again, Brandon. I mean, you're a lifesaver. Look how beautiful that lay is. I got so much line. That's why I had to take off the, the, the line counter because I knew this was going to take a hell of a lot of line. And that was the 1100 yard spool I got and he used quite a bit of it. And I also like to thank Davey Brown over at Soft Steel. Uh, Soft Steel, I, th I've been using their line products for, God, maybe five, six years, as long as you've been in business. Never have any complaints. This is a good line. It, it's extruded in Japan, which you know are the best extruders of line. I, I have all their fluorocarbon, the braid, and the mono. This is great stuff. Give it a try, guys. Okay, here's the final product. Good fit. This is the uh, reel I just worked on, the Houtan 7000. I got 25-pound um, test monofilament. Um, this is, I think, the change I made was good from 20 to 25. It feels sturdier, thicker, something to grab onto. I'm using a 12 foot rod. This this surf rod is a Nasika rod, rated, it's a heavy rated from one to four ounces. Um, I, I have a lot of faith in it. This is if, um, if you didn't know by watching my channel, I got uh, slightly electrocuted during an electrical storm when I was fighting a GT. True story. I mean, I do have the uh, medical records that uh, the base gave me um, that I was free to go afterwards. I lost my vision just for a short period of time, but it seems like I, um, I made it through that. Okay, it was just, it, I was wading into water after getting smacked by a GT. And next thing I know, the lights went up around me and I fell in the water. It was a good thing I had rubber booties on that day. So this was that rod. And what I did is that the company gave me some replacements, but I went ahead and I changed out the, the guides and the things that need to be changed because I fell on it with my weight and I and I broke it here and there. So this reel, as you can see, looks very, very well on this. It, it's actually the best size for this. Even though this is rated for one to four ounces, this can handle, trust me, it can. I mean, you can actually, you can see right down to the tip, I have my three-way swivel here. This rod can handle. Now I did.